Siki and Sabaling were questionable going into the game. They are dressed in on the bench tonight, but they're obviously limited. That's why they're only in the 20. They're on the game day roster, but only uh, coming off the bench, or options to come off the bench. Part of the center back partnership, rather than with Koulibaly tonight, with the aforementioned Eric Zabaleta. Dangerous possibility here. Douglas Costa will flip the ball into the box. A cross world right front. Chicharito a header. And he had a free header in the last game against FC Dallas. It ended up going off the post. Nico told us yesterday that Siki and Sabalang has been to the doctor. He was a sub out of the game in the first half last week. And he said he's been dealing with a little bit of a gastrointestinal issue. They've noticed some acid reflux that they're trying to get under control. Here's a lovely curl ball. And it's a goal. Farfan sets up Hara. One little flip pass. Julian Bob. Nice ball, nice execution there by Marco Farfan. We see them working on this all the time. That is going into concussion protocol, missing two games. Ball picked up here by Ferreira. He's got Ariola in front of him. Ferreira steps around Bergman, and Ferreira rips a shot, and it takes a great save by Jonathan Bond. Hedges has one goal this year, came off a corner kick. Alan Velasco had the delivery, and Hedges scored earlier in the month at Houston. Oh, going for the overhead, and another overhead kick attempt, it's off the bar by Jose Martinez! This is going to fall, Pavico with a rising shot, and just over the top. It's Haro with one, and then Martinez with the second one, off the crossbar. Wow! Jose Martinez has not scored a goal in his season and a half with FC Dallas. Tonight, his 20th game this year. Back surveying the scene. Good little through ball by Ariola. Tomasi will reach this in space. He'll carry it into the area. Now he'll float across in the direction of Alan Velasco. One touch, shot, deflection. Tomasi trying to reach it. And it appears that Tomasi came from an offside position. Breaking up a play like he did a moment ago in a more defensive oriented posture rather than just winning a ball back and forcing a turnover in a pressing situation. Velasco just carried it forward. Oh, but here's what he does so well. He puts in Ariola, and Ariola shots. Oh, a piece of it by Jonathan Bond. Looking for his 10th goal of the year. Quickly taken corner. Ferreira into Pomacall. Trying to cut it back. Now Ferreira, and a quick shot is deflected off the hand and then off the bar. And an offside flag has come up, by the way, in all of that. Sends a ball over to Delgado, a heavy touch, but he's still able to recover possession in space. Now it's Kevin Cabral. Victor Vasquez. Vasquez trying to play in Jovalic. And a big collision in the area. Oh, and we've got a penalty. We'll mark it to 50-50 ball once Matt Hedges takes that deflection. And, well, you know, it's all about who sort of arrives first. And I think Chicharito does it's really both players reaching out for the ball and the problem is that teacher now looking to score on the road he just came on Dayon Jovalich after the PK is won by Chicharito and saved by Paz and saved by Paz Jovalich can't score on the road he can only score at home as Martin Paz shuts the door well we talked at one end about Jonathan Bond keeping his team in the game how about that to pause, making sure his team retains the lead. Everybody looking at referee Pierre-Luc Lozier, and they look at him, and they get what they want out of that look. A blown whistle for full time, and expect him 